Are you looking for more design control over your real estate website? Well, today I'm gonna to show you the new custom page features that KV Core has that will allow you to have more control over the content and the look and feel of the additional pages that you create on your KV Core IDX website. So I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use this custom page builder and how to elevate your online presence so you can grow your real estate business. So if you wanna see this full tutorial, keep watching. Hey everybody, it's me, Jacob Sharman, your real estate marketing expert. I have over 17 years of marketing experience specializing in web design and SEO, and I take that experience to help you grow your real estate business. So if you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new content. And if you'd like to get my resources, training, courses, and coaching for free at no extra cost or split to you, take a look at partnering with me at eXp Realty inside the Agent Wolfpack. And there's a link down below where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me to learn more. So let's dive into today's topic. All right, so today we're reviewing KV Core's new custom page builder that they've added. Now they've added this back a little bit ago and I haven't had time to review it, but if you've ever created an additional or an extra page on KV Core on your IDX website, you notice that you really didn't have much control over the content because what was happening is they gave you like a little text box that looked like a Microsoft Word editor and you had to put everything that you wanted in there. You didn't get control over the look and feel, the background colors, unless you knew some coding, but it still went inside this little template. Now they're giving you more control over what goes on the page by giving you a page builder. So if you've ever used uh, kind of the email template builder, it's kind of the same where you can drag in and put your header title, you can put in a text box, you can put in columns, you know, you can put in images, videos, things like that. So now they're letting you build a custom website, giving you more look and feel to make it look like it's more of your brand and not just the custom KV Core template. Now, the homepage editor still has more to be desired, and I'm sure that is coming, especially with all these great changes that they're doing by merging with Bold Trail and how that's gonna be rolling out. Bold Trail was more focused on really nice websites, so I'm, I'm gonna see that functionality coming. Now, do you still have absolutely 100% control over this? No, the only way you can do that is to build your own website, which if that's something you're interested in, I have our information down below. That's what we do, that's where we shine. But for those of you that don't have that as a resource, that's okay, you can still utilize this feature and make it work to grow your business. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to use this custom page builder step by step. We're gonna build a page together and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to increase your online presence, how to increase lead capture, and how just to make a nice, clean, stunning page that people will want to spend time on and hopefully drive that traffic to become a lead. So if you wanna see this full tutorial, let's dive in. All right, so I wanna quickly show you the new custom page builder that KV Core has implemented. And this basically comes from Bold Trail. They're starting to bring some of the features as they're merging together. It's gonna to make an amazing product. Now I've already covered some of this in when I made the landing page. So you can go check out that video if you wanna specifically know how to do landing pages and filter out fake leads. But basically if you come over here to website uh, manager, you come to pages and it'll bring you here. You can see the templates that they have for you. And then you can also create a custom page. Now, none of this will edit the home page. You still have to use that kind of, um, let me see if I can find it, the clunky kind of website manager. But I have a feeling that's coming. They've added some more templates as stuff as well. You'd have to use this site editor. Um, if you need help doing your KV Core website or you want your own custom website, let us know. We have plenty of funnels and things that we can add to your website to give you a full lead generation system, or we can help you make your KV Core look better uh, within the limitations that you get on that platform. But you can see here, they've got some about us, they've got, you can create kind of a buyer's guide resource. Um, you can do classic lead capture, like landing pages, um, open house, you know, landing pages. They have for listings as well. Uh, video lead generation. So they have some. I love this preferred lenders list. Um, I'll show you and click on that. You can do a preferred lenders page, capture a lead on a landing page and say, get, uh, get a list to our, our preferred lenders or vendors, or just give it to them for free. And um, there's always a call to action to inquire now. But you can put and customize as you can see, as you just click, you edit, I can edit just right in there. I can edit the pictures, the backgrounds, all of that stuff, and we'll dive into that. But you can create an amazing vendor list of 
preferred partners that you have. And this can be a great resource to bring in traffic and just shows you that you're knowledgeable and you're well connected in the community. So I really like this page for lead capture. Again, um, you can do your listings. They're all here, you know, kind of um, in categories, lead capture, um, there's video lead capture, all of that, super exciting. So you can just click on one of these, edit them. I kind of show you how to do that in the previous video, so I'm not gonna waste time with that. Uh, there's even a consultation page. Um, it shows you all of the pages that you have as well. So anyway, so we're gonna come over here, we're gonna create a custom page. Now, a few things to notice is right here will be the title of your page. So right now we'll just call this um, test page. And then if you come over here to advanced options, it should automatically put a slug, which is basically what comes after your URL um, for that as well. So you wanna select a category. So like if you have landing pages, put them under landing and lead capture. They usually create this automatically. If you have some resources like the vendor page, you could put it under resource category. You can always create a new one as well. For now, I'm just gonna do it under resource. Now, one thing that's cool is they have redirection. So let's say that you want people to come to your website, but you want to redirect them to, um, you know, another external URL, you can put the slug in here that will give you your URL and then you can have it automatically redirect to an external page. This is where you'll put the description of the page, your keywords, and this will be your title meta, meta as well. So save that. And then some other things to notice is that settings right here, will control the entire page. So if you wanted it to be more of that luxury dark feel, oops, sorry, now let me go back. And so if you make a mistake, you come down here to the undo. <laughs> okay, just like normal. All right, so we want to do settings for the entire page, not just the row. So settings, so you have background color, sorry. that's background color of this area. So as we keep adding elements, watch, as we add elements or we add more rows, it will keep that whole section black, okay? So if you really wanted to uh, make a container like this, that's a different color. So I'll give you a prime example, see how this is a different color than that, or you wanted to green, you, that's how you would do that. You would edit that area as well. So. Let me undo this and I'll show you some more settings you can change. Um, so background color, content area, background color. So the content area would be all of this. So the whole page or the content area. So this would control the entire background. This controls the content area. So we're gonna undo those because I'm gonna show you how to do a few things here in a second. And then you can add a background image. One thing I like what they're doing lately is they have some stock photos that you can access through pixels. And then, so if you wanted like a home interior, we could search home interior, and then it's gonna give you some weird photos, but you can use all of these uh, photos. So if you like this, you can import it and insert into the background. So as you build your content, it'll show the background image. I'm gonna turn that off for now. And again, you can enter more page details, your page title, page description, all of that. Add a favorite icon, which will be the icon up here as well. So these are their overall settings. If you want it to be a wider frame, you'll see this get bigger as I drag it. A lot of times I always go to like 1200 pixels. It gives you plenty screen width. Now we can start building content. So if you wanna put, maybe you wanna do kind of a banner. So you can click on this container or this row, and then you can come over here and add content colors. So maybe I want that row because I'm gonna add a title in there. I want that whole, sorry, row background is what I wanted, not the content. So the whole row background would be a certain color. Then if I were to drop a title tag in here and I could click on it, make the text white, and then put my you know, change the fonts, change the font weight. Maybe you just want it to be regular, not bold, for that more modern look, but you can control everything that you're doing. You can even control inside this container, the padding, which is very important. So maybe you're gonna do like a header. So um, we're gonna come over here. Let's find padding down here. 
If you toggle more options, you can do the, it'll do the same number for all four sides. If you just want to control the top and bottom, which is usually what I do. So we would change the top and bottom and there you go. Now you can even add, uh, you know, your home page, banner, header, whatever, you know, or you could say, what's one of the ones we have here? Find your dream home. Okay. And this is from our actual funnel. And then there you go. And then you can make your header bigger if you want. There you go. And then you just keep adding content as well. You can actually add another row underneath. So you just wanna make sure it says to drag it here. Let's say you wanted multiple columns, you can drag multiple columns in here as well. And then you have to have content in the columns. So usually I'll just drag whatever I need inside there, an image maybe a button. So you just start building content in there. And then once you have content in each column, then you can click on the row, scroll down, and you can control the column structure. So maybe you want each column to be a different color. So let's do like a gray. If you want some padding inside, let's say you wanted it to be 20 pixels all the way around so it's not edge to edge, that's where you start controlling each element and then you can click it can even rearrange them, you can resize them. Maybe you want this column to be smaller and this column to be smaller so the middle one's bigger. You can play with your layouts and add anything you want. You can do titles, paragraphs, which is kind of like your body text, list, images, buttons, dividers, spacers, social media, custom HTML. This would be something that you would use. Maybe you're wanting to add your Calendly widget in here. This is where you would click in here add that code it gives you in there so it knows that that is special HTML code as well. You can add forms in here. So maybe I wanted to put a form here, like a lead capture form. I can choose, and, and I did this in my previous video, so I won't spend a lot of time on it, but you can choose whether it's a buyer seller form, renter, agent, vendor. And then if you wanna redirect them to a specific URL afterwards, you can like a thank you page. If not, it'll just keep them on the current page. You can always hashtag them. So maybe they came and downloaded your buyer's guide. You can let them know that, hey, this is the person that downloaded my buyer's guide. You can hashtag them however you want. You can also just add a simple search feature. So maybe you wanted to add that. Obviously we wouldn't add it in this spot, but you can add that feature as well. So you can see there's, there's flexibility. If right now these are empty rows, but you can also look at some of the pre-done ones they have. You can see it's kind of just giving you basics. So maybe you wanted, um, there's two columns with basically an image, a title, a divider line, some text and a button. So maybe it's, you're talking about buy with us, list with us, all of your services as well. You would just take that and drag it in and there they are, it created them for you. And now you can just click on them and replace the pictures, edit the title, done, professionally done for you. And you can make this look however you want. I know it looks like a mess right now, but if you find features on my website, this is a uh, funnels that we do for our real estate marketing clients and what my agents get for free uh, coming here. Um, but we build custom funnels for you that have landing pages and everything. If there's a feature on here that you like and you know how to do it, you can go in here and put it on your page. You can add the custom forms in there, all of that stuff. If you need help customizing your KV Core site, we can definitely help you. If you would like to have your own website outside of, outside of KV Core or your CRM and you would like it to integrate, we can do that as well. So uh, we're a full service marketing company, but you can go in here and create your custom pages. Maybe you, know, you wanna do a buyer's page, talking about buying, selling, the steps of the home buying process, download my buyer's guide, all of these things, add you know, testimonials in there, you can add those. That three column that we just did would be perfect for testimonials. You can put a testimonial, their picture here, whatever. So many things that you can do. This site can be a reference, but you can add buyer's page, seller page. You can do some community pages in there like we do, where you're talking about a specific area, to help out with SEO. So it's a really giving you sky's the limit here to really beef up your KV Core website, add custom content, and that doesn't just look like this. Before when we added custom content, it was a little word editor and it put it inside this little frame and it was kind of 
lack of better words, ugly. Now they're giving us more customization, especially for the home pages and things like this, where we can start to make it look like it's not just another IDX website. So this is just a basic overview of the content editor. Go play around with it, make some pages, edit one of their existing pages, use some of these pre-done rows that they give you as well. You know, explore, these would be great for testimonials. There's all kinds of stuff you could do. This would be great for one of your buyer's guides to download articles to link to so much you can do really go make the page your own all right so i hope you found that helpful you know it's my goal in every video to make sure that you guys are taking away something to grow your business that you can implement today so go beef up your website your kv core website and make it look nice and now you have the flexibility to do that if you have any questions about what we went over go ahead and drop those down in the comments below if you want to beef up your kv core website but it's just not a skill set that you want to do or time that you want to spend we can help you do that we can even build you your own custom website an all-in-one website with real estate sales funnel client funnels and landing pages and automations that you can take with you no matter what brokerage you go to we can integrate your current idx like kv core into the website if that's something you're interested in go ahead and book a consultation call with us and learn more about that and again if you want to get resources like this for free and get all my courses coaching and tutorials all for free. Take a look at partnering with me at eXp Realty inside the Agent Wolfpack. There's a link to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me to learn more. So go ahead and book that and I will show you what your business would look like with us as well. And if you wanna keep seeing content like this, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.